What up, man? It's your boy. Shout. This is Positive Traction, man. And we're here to talk about my new toy. I have that I'm sitting in right here. 2012. Dodge Ram pickup. This is my new toy. <laughs> this is my everyday vehicle for work. So, but y'all know me. I'm all about the budget. And that's what I come here to talk about a little bit. I still have my Silverado, of course. Well, I'm just sitting right now. I'm just sitting in my, sitting in the other truck. And I know people going to be like, oh, he really likes trucks. Uh, nah. Yeah, I'm an automotive guy. Point blank period. I like bikes. I like trucks, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, go-cars, anything that kind of can go fast or anything that drives and looks good. I like them. Now, I ain't, ain't going to say anything, but I respect you know, all things. Like, I know I'm not too much of a Cadillac fan like that. I like the old schools when people put them together, you know, make them look all pimpish. <laughs> but I, I, I like them a little bit, but it's not something I'm just going to run out and buy. I don't have dreams of having a Cadillac, a Buick maybe, and make that so bad. My wife actually has a Buick, an Encore. Uh, that's for another subject one day. We might, I might review that a little bit because that's actually a nice little car. So if anyone's thinking about buying their wife a little SUV, a little crossover or something like that, that is a good one right there. 2018 or I say just go for a brand new one because they're, they're inexpensive financing wise. They're easy to, they're very easy to get. Like if your credit is decent, they'll give you one of those. So, and it's a nice car, ride smooth, good on gas mileage. It's not, it's not bad at all. But anyway, when I was originally thinking about getting a I was on my way to get another truck. Cause as we know, the Silverado, it's gonna be the show vehicle. Uh, it's gonna be an everyday rider too. I will be jumping in and out of that, of course. It's mine. So it's not gonna be so 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 much. I'm not finna do nothing crazy like make the back of it with a hundred speakers. That's not even my style. I'm gonna put some carpet on the back on in the back of the bed. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a speaker back there. Some stuff is a surprise, y'all will love it. Y'all get a chance to see it when it's done. Y'all will love it. I promise you that. But when I was originally thinking, I was like, man, I'm not really <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> regular cab guy at all. I'm like, I'm gonna do the regular cab. I'm gonna say, cause, man, I like, I like the extended cab. I'm not, not a humongous fan of any four doors. I don't like Ford trucks at all. Don't have no no aspire, no aspirations or whatever to go get one of those. Period. They're good trucks, not taking nothing from them, but I just don't want one. That's not where I'm at. I am a Chevy and Mopar guy. I love Mustangs. I love Mustangs. That's the only thing I like from Ford. Shelby's, Celine's, Roosh, I have you pronounce it, and regular GTs, even regular Mustangs. I just like them. Just like them. Just always love Mustangs. But anyway, I was sitting thinking, I was like, man. I got to get another truck because I got to keep getting to work. And this is my people out here that are going through this. Man, don't be scared to get something that you really might not want because it could be what you really love in the end. Because sometimes we be, we be into what we really want that we'll kind of look at something else like, look, that's junk. And then when you get it, you're like, oh, snap. Because when I got in it, I sat back. My whole... <laughs> My whole thing was, man, I don't want to go through sitting straight up and I'm driving every every day, every time I get in it. If we said, well, let's take a little slight road trip, I got to sit up and ride three three to six hours depending on where we're going. And I'm like, man, then I'm like, oh, my wife ain't going to be comfortable. She might not like it. But when I got in it, we got in it yesterday after I got it. I got in it first when I first... When I got a chance to see it. And, man, people try to test drive. I didn't get a chance to test drive this one, but I feel like I got lucky. But people, when you get a chance, try to test drive. You know, sometimes my work my work schedule didn't allow me to be able to do exactly what I needed, and they closed on Saturday. So we here. It smells good. Everything is in there tight. The, it, don't look like, it looks like somebody, it could have been a work truck far as and it could have been um 
as I would call a loose work truck where it was just somebody driving it a little bit. Other than that, they didn't. And it's a long bed, so everyone might not like it, but it was easy for me to get it. I'm not gonna scream out my price or nothing like that, but it was very easy for me to get it. So I say this, if sometimes we have no choice. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to get it all out. But sometimes we have no choice. Sometimes our first, the first thing we want, we can't sometimes get, because either we can't find it. In this case, I was looking to finance. So for, this is for my people that's finance. And in the back, come to the front. I'm talking to you, I'm not talking to the guys that got $20,000 to just spend on a truck or a car. Everybody doesn't have it like that, or everybody's not trying to come out their pocket like that. Some people are trying to work on their credit. So, and that's what I'm doing. I'm working on my credit. So y'all know I'm all about the positivity. So, what I'm trying to do is build and establish some good credit. I'm gonna let y'all see the motor next. And so I went and got me a new truck. Got my old, my old school, my 96, and some asshole on on fours the other night told me, oh, that's not an old school. It's from 96. It's 20 some years old. To me, I don't know about everybody else. I don't too much care about everybody else's opinion. I was raised in the 90s. So to me, it's an old school. When I go on YouTube and look up the Like A Rock commercial, they look old as hell. So what I'm saying is, hey, it's an old school to me. So. It's an old school to me. It's not nothing new. It's not nothing in the in the uh, 2000s. So it's an old school to me. It's a 1990 fucking six. Of course it's old. But I already had a stinny cab. So I'm like, well, hmm. What would be my best? What would be my best one? And I was like, okay, I'm just going to go get a new vehicle. First, I was thinking just get a little bucket. That's always good, people. If you don't want a truck and you're building on a car or you're something like that, or you already have your car that you build it on, you like, oh, I want something else. Just go get you a bucket or something. Just go get something else to drive, man. You can always find cars out here, $1,000, $2,000 if you got it. Because it's not a patient game. I keep telling people it's not a patient game with restoring vehicles. You can't be patient. You can't drag your feet because it will end up sitting. I'm not letting that truck sit. I'm going to fix the transmission. Transmission is the only thing we got to fix right now. Slap a new transmission in it. Then we're going to gonna go to work the body, the interior. And then I'm going to snatch the motor out. I'm going to rebuild the motor for a little more performance. I would like to get at least 400 horses out of it because i seen somebody on YouTube with a 400 horses one. And they had to squat it. I'm not a big fan of squatting, but A to each his own. One guy even told me, well, what you lifting it for if it's not a four-wheel drive? That's your opinion, just like my opinion is I don't like squatting and squatting them is ugly. That's my opinion. That's just me. I'm not asking you to change what you're doing. I just don't want to do it. And we're actually going sixes on the Chevy. So I hope some people watching this uh, comment below if you got some sixes for sale for a nice, decent price. Uh, black. I prefer all black with a chrome lip or all black all the way around. Um... If not, I will be getting some, probably be getting some Forgiatos or some Ruchis, and I'm trying to go gold. But if the right person come with the right set of black 26-inch rims, I will definitely snatch them, and then will be the rim I'm going. But if I have to say I'm going to spend a nice amount, it's going to either be a set of Forgies or Ruchis. So how you pronounce that Ruchi thing? But Forgiato, definitely. So, but I was like, okay, it sits right. Because I thought it was going to sit up, and I ain't like that. So I'm laying back right now. I'm laying back in it. And that's what I was concerned about. Because I was like, man, I don't want to sit up like that. Drivers go get annoyed. Go make, me, go make me hate the truck. And I don't. I fell in love with it as soon as I knew I was getting it. I finally got a chance to get it. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely in love with it. I like Rams. I love Rams anyway. So I'm a Chevy guy and a Mopar guy. GM and Mopar, I promise you, I am that guy. And my yard right now is two of those. A, 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 both of those, I mean, excuse me. 
a GM product, two GM products, and a Mopar product, product, and it will be another Mopar product in the in the future. But y'all, that's in the future. Right now, I'm working on the truck so we can get to the Mustang, so I can drop that on here. So y'all, the whole budget of getting that LS swapped and everything else. But right now, this is what we on the 2012 Dodge Ram Long Bed. It's going to look great. I don't care what nobody say. I have not seen a whole lot of people with them on YouTube doing stuff. Maybe a few old older ones. But I was thinking a lot of stuff. But I want everybody to comment below, man. You don't have to subscribe. I just be wanting people to comment below. If you want to hit that notification bell, that's on you. But I really just want you to comment below and tell me what you think I should do to it. What would you what would you do if you had no choice and you had a long bed and it's just you, no kids, no nothing like that? Because we don't have any kids. And it's just me and my wife. And I, I don't ride with a lot of people. I'm not the one for having a truck full of people or a car full of people. No, we're not doing that. We're all grown. Ride your own vehicle. This is all the motive club I have. Ride your own vehicle. <laughs> you, some people can ride with me depending on who you are because everybody doesn't. I got friends that don't really not into cars like that. And they might just want to go to the car shows, kick it, or just... You know, one one person, I'm not acting like I'm just a butthole. Nobody, nobody can ride in my car. No, it's just, we're not trying to ride four or five deep. And that's why I was glad. I was like, you know what? It's just like if I had a Corvette. I'm glad. <laughs> it's only a two-seater. I can't fit nobody with me and my wife or one of my friends. My wife not going because she has a vehicle and or she's driving my other truck. So, with that being said, let's look at this motor. <laughs> One more time, people, let's look on the inside of this thing, man. Immaculate, I got to take my mats out of my other truck. Because like I said, I'm going to cover I'm gonna cover the Silverado up for a while, for about a month. And we're going to drop that transmission on that. And we're going mm, to gonna ride, baby. We're going to, but this is it, man. Long bed, man. It's, and when I looked, I was like, it's really just not super long. It's like. Okay, it's not. I know most folks will prefer the RT, cause I would. If it had been an RT, it'd probably been more, and it'd have been a badass RT. But hey, if you know anything about Dodge or the car world, period, you know one thing: Dodge made another good big block V8. If that's what I don't know if they consider that as big blocks, but. <laughs> They made this, the Magnum. 4.7 liter, baby, V8. As you see under the hood, looks great, looks damn good. AC blows, heat blows, everything. All my cluing. This is my actually my first newer model. I'm not a big noob. So this is my introduction. So y'all, man, let's hope I have. <laughs> Let's hope I have no problems, man, like down in the line. I'm not talking about right now, because right now, man, it's, it's, it's still new, man. It shouldn't, I should at least have three, four more years before anything goes wrong. <laughs> so, man, let's, let's see what happens, man. Like I said, man, comment below. Let me know what you would kind of do to it if you had no choice and you was like, okay, yeah, I want to, on a ram and i ain't finna get a a long i'm not finna get a whatchamacallit so what you do is go get you a long bed or a short bed get a regular cab and watch how you like it that'll give you a good introduction to it and you will like it man i'm telling you man i love it man i'm right now i'm loving it because i really don't like riding with a lot of people i'm so serious maybe one person that's always good especially where i'm from because you don't want to get profile pulled over for nothing like that so, just because because these days and times, man, are rough. But, man, you know, we hear positive traction. We are all about the positivity, baby. We don't care nothing about that. So, man, y'all comment below, man. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to, man. And let me know down below, man, what should I do to the Ram, man, because I already got the ideas what I'm going to do to the uh, Chevy, man. So, we're going we gonna to fruit that out, man. We got a lot coming for the channel, man. But right now, man, once again, this is my Dodge Ram, man. I'm going to do some shit to it, man. Like I said, it is running. If you ask me, the 4.7 was just as good as the 5. Especially if you're talking just Magnum, just a nice 
they was lovely. We all liked it, Walker's Hooks, the Texas Ranger, and that's what he had. He didn't have a Hemi, he had the 47. You know what I'm saying? He had the V8 47 in the uh the 90s style, the 90s body. So, like I said, comment below, man. Let me know, man. Um, I gotta get a towing package, man, because we're doing some other things. So I will be letting y'all in on the other things we're doing. But yeah. Ooh, I gotta pull my other truck up, so but yeah, we need a towing package, baby. <sighs> Got to put a toy, young toy package on here, man. We're going to see about getting that done on here, man. There was no rush, nothing like that. I got to change the bed liner. A few little scratches, man, right here on the tailgate, man. A few little scratches. Like I said, it could have just, looks like it was just a good work truck, man. Looks like it was just a good work truck, man. And they didn't beat on it too bad, so I'm glad that I got it. Like I said, there's a few little dings and dings there. But none of the little bond doing touch up paint will fix. I'm going to leave it white. I'm not going another color. That's why I say just touch up paint. So I'm gonna touch up all the spots that need to be touched up. And there you have it, baby. Touch up everything, man. And this is gonna give me my, my little addition to body work too, because I'm doing all the body work on the uh Silverado. So like I said, we got stuff to do to that and man. Positive traction, man. Be in for something, man. Y'all get on on here, man, and fuck with your boy, man. Y'all, I'm telling you, man, don't miss out, man. I got, got some stuff for you, but, man, if you want to get a, get you a nice summer and you live in Mississippi, man, around the Jackson, Pearl, Richland, Ridgeland area, Florence area, man, go holler at my people at the Scream Audio. I told my bad. Uh, they will get you in something nice. Uh, who else I got? Um, yeah, Scream Auto. And a couple other people, man. There's a few other people. Uh, Pops down Florence. He's a good. He's a good. He's a good one. If you depending on how much you want to spend, how much money you want to spend, you know, I gotta change these back lights. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some little small work to this because this is, is 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 easy. It's gonna be way easier than, <laughs> than the Silverado. It's gonna be way easier, way right? quicker, way right? cheaper. So I'm gonna. Just, a lot of stuff we're gonna do, man. We're gonna change these lights out. We're gonna tint these windows. We're gonna put the system in. The system is all we already got a system. So hey, I'ma hook that on up, man. We gon' man, we finna freak it, man. We finna do some things. I might change the headlights on it, or I might not. I don't know yet. But I know I'm changing the tail lights. I'm always with changing the tail lights to make them clear, get newer ones. <sighs> or whatever. Mine don't have no sensors in it. And that's another thing, man. For my people that's out there. It's like, man, I want something new. Man, if you can avoid getting all them extra stuff, because you really don't need too much extra stuff unless you just like, oh, man, I just I just want it. Then, yeah, go get you a Sierra. Go get you a new model. Uh, F-150. Go get go out there and get what you want. I always remember this. This is what we're about over here, positive traction. Man, if you want something, go get it, man. I'm not here to tell you what you should do. I'm here to try to help you budget-wise, let you know, well, yeah, that'll be good in your budget. Financing is always good because you can play, pay, 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 pay. And when you get tired, you can, hey, 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 I don't want this one. I want that new one. Give them the keys back. They're always willing to take take back a trade. So, but try not to beat on, on it too much because this one, probably not going to trade. I'm probably going to sell in the next four or five years. But, hey, four or five years from now, man, we got a whole lot of time and a whole lot of stuff to do it. It's gonna be lovely, man. We're gonna be like I said though, but uh, if you can avoid getting all that, because some of these newer models they have so many sensors on them, you will be paying five, six hundred for a damn light if something happened to your light, or if you just want to change them. And we're not trying to do that. So over here, positive traction, man. I'm all about the budget and positivity, man. So we're gonna go over here and do something for you, do something right fast for y'all, for the for my viewers that don't know me. Now we over here with the Silverado. And she still cranks all the way up, man. She cranks up, man. She moves, man. She moves, man. I had to get the little ball off of the... Uh... I had to get my, my, my toe... <laughs> all the gate, she a little dusty. That's just some sitting under the tree, man. But I'm finna cover up. We're gonna get it right, man. Like I said, man, this is positive traction, man. Y'all be cool, man. Y'all get out there, man. Get what y'all want, man. Like I said, try to keep it in the budget as much as possible, man. Cause, man, none of us are rich, man. All of us trying to hit the, the mega millions. 
a lot of us are trying to hit that. So, man, y'all be safe out there, man. And like I said, man, go out there and get what you want. But I'm going to get back to a quick little subject. Like I said, man, these, some of these new models have so many sensors and stuff like that. Try to get you something if possible. Try to get something either between 15 and 19. Or when you go get a new model, tell them, man, I don't want all the bells and whistles. Check out what you're getting, man. Because when my wife got what she got, I was like, technically we don't need a lot of that other stuff. Heat and warming seats and all that. That's cool, though. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. If you get it, get it. But it's like if it's not necessary right now for what you're trying to do because it costs you more money, don't be afraid to say, I, I ain't going to do that right now. I'm going to wait till the next go around. I'm not saying don't go get it. I'm just saying know what you're doing and just pay attention. So, it's your boy Shout. This is Positive Traction, man. And I'm out there, bit, man.